Yeah, man. Look, I mean, Jay Z at the level that he's at, he don't need to squash it with anybody. I mean, he he's done great for himself. I mean, the fact that he humbled himself to take the photo with you, shout you out on stage, mention you after the um, you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I mean, I think just shows uh I think the growth, the maturity of Jay Z. You know, and not and you know, and you've seen that in other parts of his life. I mean, him and Nas start being cool and <laughs> working together. He signed Nas to Def Jam, and right. they, they have a few songs together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they have a bunch of songs. I think the last time they probably had a song together was on DMX's album. But, like, you know, uh, he went and signed a bunch of the people that he was beefing with to Rock Nation, like Fat Joe and Jim Jones and, and, and so forth. I mean, he shouted out Prodigy from Mob Deep, you know, in that big list of MCs that, that influenced him. And, Remember, he had the whole Summer Jam screen situation with Prodigy. You know, I mean, Jay-Z's not the same Jay-Z that he was before. He's grown. He's matured. He's acting his wage, like, you know, how I like to say, you know, acting his wage. Acting his wage. Well, we all all have have grown. Exactly. Exactly, man. It's good that we've been around long enough to see the growth in each other. And we're lucky enough to, to live that long to... To come to those conclusions and have that growth, because yes, you know, indeed. old age is a gift, man. It's not promised to everybody. You right. know, there, there's, you know, two people I interviewed last year died violently, never getting to see old age. Um, you know, Slim Four Hundred and Draco the Ruler, and uh, you know, every year that that happens, unfortunately, uh, you know, in the hip hop world. Yeah. So, you know, listen, uh, Jazzo, man, I've been a fan since way before we met. Like I said, I bought that second album. Uh, <laughs> I love the originators. I love what you guys were doing. And, you know, you invented the triplet style, yeah. which later on, like the Migos and the 3 whole Six world. Mafia and, and, and really a lot of rappers ended up taking on mm-hmm. uh, and so forth. Uh, you're always going to be tied to the Jay-Z story, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you know, know, it I just is like, what it is. I feel like Ron Howard. <laughs> Remember on Saturday Night Live, right. he's calling him Opie Cunningham. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You can't escape that. You know, and you have classic records uh, under your belt, uh, classic productions under your belt, hit songs. Um, you know, like like I said, the the Ain't No uh, record, had that not come out and become a hit, you, you never know. Jay-Z could have gone the path of like, let's say, Mike Geronimo, who was also a very good rapper but just never quite got that opportunity to take it to the next level. I'm you not going to comment on that. But what's okay. that? I'm not going to comment, gonna comment? on that. Well, I, I'm putting I'm going to comment enough to say I'm not going to comment on <laughs> no, that. No, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I have been a- around in the music industry long enough to know that it's not always just a skill game. Oh, of It's course not man. about how good you rap or how well you sing. There's a lot more that goes into it. And a lot of it is luck. And a lot of it is relationships and you know timing and so forth and some of the best rappers in the world you probably never got to hear them because for whatever reason you know the stars did not align right for their projects to do what they're what they're supposed to do you know what i'm saying most definitely you know cannabis i thought was one of the greats and ultimately his career didn't turn out that way right you know for because he decided to be for the l cool j and you know a set of events happened and right. here we are all these years later so you know, at the end of the day, man, uh, I appreciate you coming in. We've been talking about doing this for a long time. Uh, you know, congrats on everything you pulled together. You know, glad to hear your family's doing well. Yes. You know, congratulations on your uh, engagement. Yes. You know, and uh, man, uh, you know, looking forward to see what else comes out. Oh, yeah, a whole lot. That's what it is. Maybe, maybe you'll have me back. Peace. <laughs>